Then the next will be the platform. So what is a platform? So a platform in the cloud is the software layer, right? That is used to create higher level of services. Many different platform as a service provider offer services meant to provide developers with different capacities, such as we have the salesforce.com where salesforce.com platform is there, then Windows, Azure platform, then Google app and Google app engine. These are the example of the platform as a service. So in the platform, we have the, the provision of the hardware and the software. So generally the platform we, we can have as a software layers, but, uh, but the, the physical, comp physical in the physical layer, we have the hardware also, which is supporting those software, right? But uh, as we know that the hardware will not be managed by the user, that is managed whole, uh, will be managed by the, the cloud service provider, as well as the operating systems and some essential software is also managed by the cloud service provider. Only the application program and the data will be, uh, will be the responsibility of the user. These, these three services offer all the hosted uh, uh, hardware and software needed to build and deploy web application, right? So with these uh, services, we can uh, uh, deploy our web application. Let's say we have a, a site, right? And let's say we have a website and we want to deploy that particular website. So we use this platform as a service where we can deploy the web application as well as some sort of services that are custom built by developer within the context and the range cap of the capacity that the platform allow. So we can deploy the web application as well as the services. And uh, it is based on uh, the capacity of the platform. Now, if you'll see uh, this particular diagram, this particular diagram is uh, showing the virtual application is uh, software that installed as middleware into the virtual machine. So here virtual appliances are nothing but the component of the software that has been applied. Now this part we have seen, like this is the server we have, then there is an API and then this is a virtual appliances these are the software part of it so uh, in the platform we talk about this so we have the core component we have this uh, uh, operating system we have those hardware facilities and all and we have some provisioned uh, provisioned app uh, uh, virtual appliances which is a combination of the software and with the help of these two we can provide the platform to the to the developer we can provide the platform to the to the uh, to the person or to the uh, to the firm which can deploy their website which can deploy their services so platform represent nearly the full cloud software stack missing only the uh, presentation layer that represent the user interface now this particular part which is a user interface part is missing and that is uh, uh, the API, the upper level of the API, which is a user interfaces are missing here. So it is based on the user requirement and user will uh, will find it out like how they will show, they will show their platform to the world or how will uh, how the platform will be shown to the public. So as, as we know that the software and the hardware, the hardware as a software and both are managed by the cloud computing uh, service providers and only the data and the applications uh, software will be installed by the user. This is the same portion of the cloud computing stack that is a virtual uh, appliances and is shown in the figure. So we have this uh, virtual appliances which is shown in the figure. What separate a platform from a virtual appliances is that the 
software that is installed is uh, constructed from component and services and controlled through the API that uh, the platform provide publishes. So what separate a platform from a virtual appliances? This virtual appliance is that the software that is installed is constructed from the component and service and control through the API that platform provider publishes. Now it says that the virtual appliances is, 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 is different uh, based on the, the platform providers. So let's say one platform provider is uh, providing the platform uh, for hosting the uh, web application. Some other platform provider are providing the platform for running your uh, machine learning or AI program. Some platform are, platform are providing the platform to develop any type of application, let's say web application yeah, or Android application or iOS application, right? So these virtual appliances are different uh, based on what platform we want to give to the user because underlying hardware will be the same, right? Underlying hardware is not going to change because all the computing related uh, hardware will be there. So this is nothing but the platform. A user interface abstract uh, away the platform API, making those services managed through the user interfaces. Figure shows the top portion of the cloud computing stack, which include the API and the presentation functions. Now here, if you can see, in this particular diagram, API is there. API and uh, it varies depend upon vendor to vendor. Uh, means the service provider to service provider. Now, top of the API, there is the user interface. And in that particular user interface uh, will be the, here we have the component called presentation mobility and presentation platform, which is, based on different data, video, voice, embedded mobile or uh, embedded mobile and personal computers can access that. Uh, so this user interfaces are not the part of the platform. This user interfaces are, are uh, either provided by the, uh, by the platform uh, uh, service providers or it will be created by the user itself. So when, uh, let's say we want to host a website, so that website, when we connect that uh, platform with the IP address or the, or the, uh, the URL of that particular website, so this user interface will be shown to the user, right? And this will be, communicating with the API and different applications of the platform. Now the next concept is the virtual appliances, uh, which we have seen in the part of the platform, the virtual appliances, okay? So what is this virtual appliances? We'll see in detail here. Applications such as web servers or database servers that can run on virtual machine image are referred to as virtual appliances. So let's say we have a web, web server, right? Uh, or the database server. Let's say we, we, we have installed this into the platform, right? So let's say we want to host a website. So I need the web server. Let's say I want the specific database to be there in the platform. So I should have the database server. So those web server or those databases, these type of application, when we run in the virtual machine image, that is referred to as virtual appliances. So virtual appliances are software installed in virtual servers, application modules that are meant to run a particular machine instance or image type. So this particular software, which is running on a particular image or particular instance of the virtual machine that termed as the virtual appliances. 
A virtual appliances is a platform instance. Therefore, virtual appliances occupy the middle of the cloud computing stack, right? So as we can see here, this is in the middle of the cloud computing stack, the virtual appliances where we have the application, the data, metadata content, integration, and the middle where we have application are based on the embedded uh, native and web application. And then this data would be the structure on a structured data. The virtual appliances is a common deployment object in the cloud. And it is one area where there is considerable activity and innovation. One of the major advantage of virtual appliances is that you can use the appliances as the basis for assembling more complex services. The appliance uh, being one of your standardized component. Virtual applications, uh, sorry, appliances are far easier to install and run than an application that you must set up by yourself. However, virtual appliances are also much larger than the application themselves. Would be because they are usually bundled with the operating system on which they are meant to run. So it says that the virtual appliances, the size of the virtual appliances are definitely more than the application program. Why? Because the virtual appliances would be bundled with the operating system means which particular operating system will be supported by which particular uh, virtual appliances. Let's say when we talk about the web servers, so the operating system, the Windows operating systems web server is different than the Unix operating system web servers. And it is different than the Mac operating system web server. So the web server is, is different and it is depend upon the different operating system that we installed. Here it says that the application that is uh, 50 or uh, 100 MB might require a virtual appliances that is 500 MB to 1 GB. It says the size, what is the difference of the application that we'll install and what is the size of the virtual appliances that we'll install. So we know that the virtual uh, appliances, uh, uh, the size will be greater than the application. 